Israeli art experts are expected to sit on a task force that will investigate and help decide the fate of a massive $1.4 billion art trove found in Munich, which includes many works of art believed to have been taken from Jews during the Nazi era. One of the experts is the deputy director for Yad Vashem's museum division, while the other is the curator of European art at the Israel Museum. It isn't clear how many of the items were stolen or taken through forced sales from Jews, and the task force will investigate the origins of the items in the collection. Police discovered some 1,400 pieces, some by artists such as Matisse and Picasso, in the apartment of 80-year-old Cornelius Gerlitt, who had inherited them from his father, an art dealer for the Nazis. Gerlitt has said he is not willing to give them up. German authorities faced criticism for failing to quickly hand back the artwork, now making the case public for 18 months after the collection was uncovered. The controversy triggered German Chancellor Angela Merkel to propose changes to the country's restitution policy. If errors can be found, Israel has urged Germany to donate the works to Jewish or Israeli museums. In the 1950s, many pieces of art taken by the Nazi regime were transported to Israeli museums after they were located by German authorities or discovered hidden in storage facilities. But much is believed to still be in private collections and museums.